So you've been asked to solve an equation and it's got exponential powers in it. So I can undo exponentials with logs. I could do log base two of both sides of the equation so that I can undo this base of two because log base two of two to the x squared minus two x results in just x squared minus two x. And on the right, we have log base two of eight. Well, that's saying two to the third power equals eight. So three is log base two of eight. So I can say x squared minus two x equals three or x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. I can look to factor this into x minus 3, x plus 1 equals 0. So my answers are 3 and negative 1. Now I should check to make sure that both of these answers work back in my original equation. If I were to do 2, to the three squared minus two times three. Well, that would be two to the nine minus six or two to the three and that's equal to eight. So that checks. Now I'll check the other one. I also have two to the negative one squared minus two times negative one. Well, that's equal to two to the one plus two or two to the third. That's equal to eight. So both of these solutions are correct. Neither is extraneous. Another way to do this problem that might be simpler for some is to think of eight as 2 to the third power. And I chose 2 as the base because that's the base here. So if I have 2 to the x squared minus 2x equals 2 to the third, since my bases are the same, I can set my exponents equal, and it's just a faster way to get to the same place. Subtracting 3, and now we're at the same place the other problem was with the same answers, negative 1 and 3. Either way, if you see it as logs or if you see it as turning this 8 into an exponential, we can do the problem.